So in this video we're going to get you set up with all the things that you need in order to run Node.js programs on your local computer. And the first thing we need to cover is the actual computer that you'll be running your Node.js programs on. Now obviously you need a computer to be able to write and run your Node.js programs, but of course there are different operating systems available to you, for example Windows, Linux and Mac. And the good news is for us it doesn't really matter which operating system you're using, as each of the popular operating systems will run Node.js without any problems. So I personally prefer to use a Linux distribution like Ubuntu when I'm at work, but just to illustrate that Node.js will work fine on Windows, I'll be using a Windows operating system to write the rest of the course. So the other thing that you'll need to run on your computer is a terminal or a command prompt, and we'll come on to that in just a second, but first of all let's cover how you actually get Node.js installed and working on your computer. So all you've got to do to get Node.js running on your computer is to go over to the Node.js website and go to the downloads page. And as you can see there are various installers depending on which operating system you're running on. So for example I'm on Windows so all I need to do is go over and click on the Windows installer and that will start to download and allow me to install the Node.js runtime once the application is ready. If you are using a Linux distribution such as Ubuntu to install Node.js via a package manager and if you head on over to this page it will give you instructions for your particular Linux distribution type and it will give you instructions on what commands you need to run in order to actually get Node.js running on your Linux environment. So once you've downloaded the installer just follow through the steps and it will give you some default options for installing Node.js and once you've completed that you'll be able to access Node.js from the command line. So command lines themselves can vary wildly depending on which actual operating system you're using. For example on a Mac you're after the terminal program and it's usually called the same on Linux distributions but it can be called the command prompt or the command line. And on Windows you've got a couple of options. And the command prompt that I like to run on a Windows environment is called git bash. Which is just a custom command prompt which allows you to run Linux like commands within the Windows environment. And you can download that from the Git website. And of course if you're going to be doing any serious development work on Windows you'll probably want this installed anyway so that you've got Git available for your version control of your projects. If you don't want to go through the step of installing this at the moment, if you're on Windows you can of course use the good old command prompt which will allow you to execute commands including accessing Node. There is actually another way of installing Node.js on your computer regardless of what operating system you're using and I'll show you that in just a moment. But first let's just check that we've got Node installed on this computer and you can do that on your command prompt simply by typing Node. And what this actually gives us is an interactive Node.js environment which allows us to run basic JavaScript statements like you would if you were in the developer tools of your browser. So for example we can type expressions like 2 plus 2, we can create variables and then access them again. And you can even write loops and functions to test out small bits of code directly on the command line. So let's just compare that to working in the browser. So comparing the command prompt where we're running Node.js to the browser where we're running our web-based JavaScript, you can see we can do exactly the same thing in each environment. So once you've got Node.js installed, just go to the command prompt and type Node and try some of those expressions to see if it's working as you'd expect it to. So just before we finish up this lesson, there's one other way that you can actually install Node.js on any operating system, and that's using a tool called NVM, which is short for Node Version Manager. And if you go ahead and install NVM, you get a separate command on your command prompt, which is just NVM, and you can use this to install various different versions of Node.js. So for example, if I type in NVM and then list, you can see I've got version 8.11.4 and also 10.9.0 available for me to use on this machine. And if I was to type nvm use 8.11.4, you can see I'm now actually using a different version, an older version of Node.js. And we can double check that by typing node-v, which gives us the current version of Node that we're running. So you might be thinking, why would I ever want to go back to an older version of Node and use that? Surely I just want to upgrade my current installation all the time? And that's true to a degree, you can actually use NVM to get the latest version for you as well. By actually passing in the command of NVM list available, you can actually see all of the available Node.js versions that are currently available. So for example if I wanted the absolute cutting edge version, which at the moment is actually 12.2.0, I could actually type NVM install 
and that will actually go ahead and grab the latest version of Node, or at least the one that I specify, and install it on this machine. And once that's done, we can actually use MVM to use 12.2.0 as we did before when we switched to the older version. And now checking our Node version again with Node-V, you can see we're now using the absolute latest version as specified when we installed 12.2.0. So I would recommend installing MVM if you think you're going to be using Node a lot in the future. And I've found it particularly useful in some work cases where I've actually needed to go back to an older Node version because I've been working on an application where it's been written in such a way that it only works under certain Node.js version environments. So if you do want to consider using MVM, just head on over to your browser and do a quick Google search for MVM and your operating system name. So for example, MVM Windows. And you'll go to the GitHub page for the supplier of this. And there's some instructions on the page which will get you started. And there's also the MVM page for Mac and Linux as well if you're using that as your operating system. So at this point you should have Node.js installed on your computer and be able to use the interactive REPL environment. So give yourself a big pat on the back and in the next video we'll look at writing our first Node.js program.